Hello, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you guys are well and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at what is a specific person thinking and feeling about you? So you can use this for anybody. It's all up to you and what you feel is the right thing. Um, I am going to issue a trigger warning here though. I just feel like that's really, really important because I do think that there's going to be some uncomfortable things popping up here. So please don't watch this if you're oversensitive, okay? Um, we're going to take a look at what this person is thinking and feeling and I'm also going to pull a card on if there's going to be action. So um, yeah, you can watch one pile, you can watch two piles, three piles, you can use different people for different piles. But let me go ahead here and show you the different piles we have today. Pile number one, we have the pyrite. Pile number two, we have the snowflake obsidian. And pile number three, we have the sunstone. So if you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with pile number one. Hi, pile one, how are you? If you chose the pyrite, then this is your reading, welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's such a pleasure to connect. Just gonna go ahead here and dive right into your energy. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the pyrite crystal? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for her, for her, for, for them, so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing the word soil, but um, I'm not getting it in terms of like planting like dirt, but I feel like, you know, when someone says like, oh, they soiled themselves, I feel like this person feels like they really, really messed something up here. This could be someone who's really interested in watching their bottom dollar. Um, so they could be really focusing a lot on money. Some of you, you could have loaned this person money, unfortunately, or there could have been money exchanging hands. Um, for some of you, this person could skate or skateboard. I feel like this person has called you overly sensitive. They feel very distracted. I will say that. I, mean, I feel like this person has like 50 million things going on. Okay, let's tap in here. I'm going to use this cute little ghost deck. What is the specific person thinking and feeling about them? Five of coins. Someone here feels left out in the cold. Someone here has been left out and pushed aside. I feel as well, we have the hermit, this fell out of the deck, so I'm going to take it actually. I feel like there's been a period here of separation and this person is thinking that they miss you. They're thinking that they wish that you were closer to them. They're thinking that they wish that you were more around them energetically. I think this person has been spending a lot of time by themselves and a lot of time in reflection. There could have been some sort of argument here, fight, something that happened that this person really felt like you sort of ripped them a new one essentially because I feel like this person doesn't feel very good about themselves. They are in reflection, so whatever you did say or whatever happened here, I feel like this person is genuinely taking the opportunity here to think about the things that happened. They really want to correct their behavior, but they feel lonely. This person misses you. They don't feel good enough for you either. King of coins. Yeah, what did I say? This person's really working on their money. Ace of, Ace of cups. Now, this is a card of reconciliation. I am going to pull one more. But I kind of get the impression that this person is working on their finances in order to come towards you. Or like they want to offer you something that's more stable, more secure. I do feel like this person, they just are letting the fact that they don't feel good about themselves really affect this connection. And this person knows that, you know, it kind of starts from within. But I read the Ace of Cups as a reconciliation card. So I will say for the majority of you, this person does intend to come back or they want to offer you something. It's been a long period of time. Can I see, can I pull another card here? What is this person's intentions here? Like, what are they gonna do next? We have the moon. This person may be communicating with you subconsciously, okay? So pay close attention to your dreams. I feel like they really like to try to connect with you in that space. Like this person, they will send you a lot of subconscious energy. 
Um, but next up, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of different downloads. I'm filming this in like kind of mid-September, I guess. So for those of you who are watching this at the inception, I am feeling the next water sign season is going to be important, which is Scorpio. I guess that's the case no matter, even if you're watching this in like July, it would be the next water sign season. What is this person thinking and feeling right now? What are they thinking and feeling about my pile ones? It's necessary for us to maintain a distance. Yeah, this person feels like they kind of screwed things up here with you. Um, they're feeling a little like low. They don't feel good enough for you. And so I feel like they are trying to take some space. This person wants to be better, but they feel like it's a lot of time. Like it's gonna take a lot of time. I'm fixated on you. Yeah. Even if there's been like no contact or low contact, little contact here. I feel like this person has a problem with their throat chakra because I can feel my throat. Even if this person and you have had, you know, an instance of low contact, okay? Uh, um, I do feel like this person is still fixated on you a lot. They think about you all day. They could dream about you. One of you could be a Virgo. We have Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, double, double Virgo. Being around you is like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I feel like this person sees you as unique too. They feel like you're very different from other people and they really like this about you. They feel very like inspired by who you are. I think this person would like to share that with you. They're looking forward to just communicating that with you eventually, but they don't feel good enough right now. What else here? I hid my true identity from you. So you could have found out some stuff about this person that was very unsavory or very like just gross. Like you felt kind of violated by them. I keep recalling our separation over and over again. Yeah, I feel this person really is thinking a lot about you. And I do think for the majority of you guys, there's been a separation here. They seem to want to come back in and offer you the truth. This person does see you, like what they're thinking and feeling is like that you're the person that they should be with. So they seem to kind of have a realization of that, which I think is, is pretty great. What else please? What is this person thinking and feeling? I'm gonna put a ring on it when the time is right. I feel for many of you, this person feels like they don't have the resources necessary right now to be around you. They feel like they don't have the right people in your in their life like i feel like they're just feeling very very low very sad i feel though that in their mind they like to think about what this is going to to look like what else here I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault. Yeah, this person wants to take that accountability. They feel very guilty here. It was easier to lie to you than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it back. I'm telling you this person, you could have caught them in, you know, a couple of different lies. And I feel like they're now realizing that they shouldn't have done that in the first place. This person they see you as someone who's forcing them to change and up level. And I actually don't see that as a negative. I do feel like this person and you are going to at least have another conversation. Do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. One thing I would say here about this person though, that I want you to be aware of is this like degree of emotional kind of manipulation. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm feeling from this person's energy. So I want you to be aware that I feel like they do want to come back in, but they, they might need a, a lot of reassurance from you. What are they thinking and feeling that they miss you? What else here? We have death and harm inevitable. Yeah, I feel like you, this person feels like you're done with them pretty much, you guys. And so I think that they're kind of struggling to 
to put together the pieces of the puzzle with like how they're going to come back into your life. Like they kind of feel like you don't want to be with them anymore. Yeah. What did I say? I knew it. I knew this. I love when spirits confirming saving. I told you this person is struggling financially preservation collection and mean meanness. Why meanness? Hmm. This person could be mean to you because they're chasing their coin. I feel like they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. Give illness, disease, weakness, fragility. The thing about this person, you guys, this person has been hit over the head with some karma around their physical well-being. This is money and also their physical like health. They're struggling a lot to maintain the same degree that they used to in the past. And this is, I feel, partially karma. So this person is in the process of evening things out, trying to get their head in the game. Oh my gosh, we have nightmare, suffering, darkness, persecution. Yeah, this person can't sleep. They miss you. They they wish that they were closer to you. I feel this person has a lot of regrets over what happened. Um, I don't know, you guys. This person, they do need to change though. They, they feel like they are aware of that. This person knows they have to step up to the plate. But I feel like they're quite scared of, you know, you rejecting them essentially but say la vie you know if that's what has to happen that's what has to happen so that's what i have pile one very interesting i do think this person misses you a lot um they seem to be really feeling like you and them have some clarity or some some, something that kind of needs to be clarified, I guess. And they're really hopeful that you can, or that you will talk back to them. Let them like explain. But yeah, that's what I have. Pile two, how are you? If you chose the Snowflake Obsidian and this is your reading, welcome. Just gonna go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I can best channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number two who chose the snowflake obsidian? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep pile two safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, when I was tapping into this person, I just felt like this overwhelming sense of exhaustion. That could be this person or you. But the word that came through right away is transform. So I kind of feel like this person is ready to transform. Someone here could have recently become an aunt. Congratulations. I can see this person like staying up at night watching the TV and just like thinking about you. So there's a lot of thinking. Some of you, this person could be artistic. They could paint. This person feels like you don't want to give them the time of day. I'm getting ancestral support here. This could be you or this person or both of your spiritual chains could be really encouraging this, but there's definitely ancestors coming through here. Okie dokie, pile number two, please. What is this person thinking and feeling? What is this person thinking and feeling for pile two? Six of coins, four of wands, okay, wow. Oh my goodness, we have the lovers. We have three of coins in reverse. Okay, this person wants to marry you is kind of what's coming through. Now, what is interesting is um, one or both of you could be divorced or you could have come out of pretty serious connections um, that are now done. And there's definitely a little bit of like fear about how that will translate into the connection or, or if it will translate into the connection. I feel like this person sees you as somebody that is really powerful to them one person or both could have Gemini placements, by the way. But this person really feels like there's something here that is worth pursuing. And I think even if they have had pain in the past, um, that they're wanting to work on this with you. For some of you, this person could have like a baby mom or a baby dad that they also have to contend with. So they're kind of like trying to think of, you know, how am I going to balance all of that out? I can see that coming through. What is this person's intentions, please, going forward? with my pal twos. They have the nine of swords. Yeah, they're a little bit stressed about this. 
person is a little bit stressed, but I do feel with the enlightenment card on the bottom of the deck, they're trying to figure out how to fi fix this. This person may have some like issues here around love or issues around trust, um, etc. And I feel like they're also trying their best to figure out how to move into a healthier direction with this. Um, yeah. I can feel that coming through. There's a lot of emphasis on how am I going to balance this out? And can I be open enough to this relationship? What else, please? Pound number two. I'm afraid to be in contact with you. Yeah, this person, they feel like you're a lot. Like, I, I don't know why this person feels that, but they feel like you're kind of intense or you have this like really intense energy. You, you know, like what you want, you know who you are and you just kind of like lead with that. They're a little intimidated by you. You're the most precious person in my life. Yeah, I feel like for many of you, this person wants to marry you, but they want to take things to the next level, whatever that looks like, which is funny because they're afraid to be in contact with you, but yet they have that awareness. You're, you're the closest person to me. I have a clear memory of every detail of that day. Okay, so first of all, maybe for some of you too, this could be like your ex or your ex-husband. There could have been a breakup here because the person wants to get back together. I feel like that, you know, we have, you're the most precious person. You're the closest person. This person really feels like you are their person, but there is one day here that they really tend to think over and over again in their head. So there's something here for sure that's bugging them. There is something that's bothering them and they're a little worried about, um, this, like they sometimes think like, can, can we get over this day? And if this is a past like connection, this person does tend to ruminate on, on that. Um, we have, I want to share my happiness with you, the bottom of the deck, really nice energy, except this person's stressed. What else, please? Mm, interesting. I love variety, but there's something about you. I just can't resist. So this could be a former player. You know, someone who feels like you've changed their ways, you've you've changed them in some capacity, like they feel different around you, they feel excited about you, like this is definitely something I'm picking up here. I didn't feel like I was on your level, you're a boss, I'm very insecure. Yeah, I do think the nine of swords kind of indicates that to me. This person has really um, struggled to feel good about themselves and they're sort of projecting that. We have, I'm on a spiritual journey, you have awakened me. And we did have that enlightenment as well in the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys really are a big piece of the puzzle for this person in terms of awakening. Yeah, they're very inspired by you. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose, lose you again. Yeah, if there was something here like a fight, an argument, or a disagreement, this person is ready to resolve the issue. They do not want to fight with you. I feel like this person has really positive intentions towards you. They also kind of feel like you're frustrated with them or like you are annoyed with the way that they have been acting and they want to fix that. Like they don't like being in that vibration. They have fantasies about marrying you or taking this to the next level. What else here? We have friendship, team, connection, and network. Can we also be um, talking to other people about you? This person really values your friendship. They value just the vibe that you, you give them. Like they feel very connected to you. We have okay, stability, harmony, and acceptance. This person wants more than anything for the connection between the two of you to be okay. Like I feel... They're willing to put in the energy and the time to make sure that you guys are kind of moving into a healthier space. Like this person really does value the you a lot and I feel they want to put that effort into the connection. They want you, you and them to be okay. What else? We have marionette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance. This person could also have like someone else around them. For instance, if they do have an ex, it could feel kind of stuck or like they have to kind of 
um, make sure other people are happy. Like they kind of feel they can't just pursue their own happiness, but they, they're trying to break free in order to come towards you. I will say this person is very tired. Like they have a lot of stuff going on in their life. And when I'm tapping in again, I can feel myself wanting to yawn. So I just feel like they're very, very drained. We have confinement, captivity, tolerance, and unfreedom. Unfreedom? Okay. But yes, I feel restriction around this person in some capacity. The marionette, the confinement, this nine of blades. I feel they do feel um, restricted. Maybe they feel like they can't come towards you as like clearly as they want or that things are going to be complex or whatever. But this person definitely is struggling a little bit with some constriction. On with the deck, we have imagination, variety, fantasy, and mind. We have the word variety twice. That's a very strange word to get twice. So this person could have like some sort of a sexual addiction or something too, but they imagine and they fantasize a lot about you. But they could have other kind of things that they need to work on in order to move out of the way. So yeah, that's what I have. Interesting stuff. Very interesting. I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. It's a pleasure to connect really. Um, yeah, this person, they do have genuinely positive intentions. I just feel like they have something else going on or there's something that they have to fix or take care of. Hello, pal three. How are you? If you chose the strawberry quartz, then this is your reading. Thank you for being here. I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pal number three who chose the strawberry quartz, please? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pal 3 safe, protected and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really do appreciate you, so thank you. Okay, this person and you could both belong to some sort of group, club, or association, or they could be talking um, to you or to, about you to a group, club, or association. I feel, I'm seeing constellations here, so kind of feel like this person feels like the connection between the two of you is fate in some capacity. They feel like you've set the course for their life, like you kind of help them feel like they're on the right path. This person could be writing a book or they could want to be write, writing something and I keep getting like published, a published author, or this could be you. There is fear here. I can feel it. Someone could have recently got a haircut and hoped the other person would notice. Someone's name here could be Patricia, Patrick. I am hearing the word message as well. Okay, so for some of you, you will be receiving a message from this person very shortly. Okay, Pile 3, please. What is Pile 3's person thinking and feeling about them? We have King of Cups. Beautiful. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person has a lot of genuine emotions. They're looking forward to sharing that with you. They want to sort of come towards you in that way. We have the world, the magician, and the page of cups. Dang. This person's ready for a fresh start here with you, a fresh beginning. I have to say, you guys, if you are of childbearing age, um, there's a possibility here for a child, specifically a daughter. Some of you could already have a daughter here with this person. But this person really wants to create a family with you. I feel like they think about that a lot. They fantasize about it a lot. They're really um, in their head about it. I think that this person is working a lot on themselves because they feel like you deserve something more. So they're trying to put together that something more in order to give to you and in order to surprise you and in order to kind of catch you, catch you off guard a little bit. For those of you who, you know, you, you're already dating this person or whatever. I feel like this person does have intentions to take things to the next level. They could be planning something such as an engagement. Four of wands on the bottom of the deck is a marriage indicator. Okay, so just a lot of celebrations here. This person really likes you. They think you're fantastic and they want to meet your expectations. Both of you could have water placements. 
What is this person's intentions towards pile number threes, please? Knight of Coins. This person knows that they've been moving slowly too, so they want to apologize, especially if you've been waiting for them. They know that they've been slow and they feel guilty. They just want me to really remind you guys that they are coming. It's in the works is what I just heard. I desire to recapture that feeling. Yeah, this person really wants to be back like in that kind of sweet energy with you. They often think a lot about, you know, the beginning stages and what happened. Um, they just really, really like that and they like thinking about you. I feel this person just wants to be close. Yeah, look, we have, it was difficult to say goodbye to you. So for some of you, I feel like this person you could have broken up with, but they still feel very much like you're meant to be with them. If this is a case of a separation, I feel like this person is planning how to come back and what to do in order to win you back. Yeah, look, we have, we'll reunite someday. I don't want to be platonic. Bottom of the deck, you were, you were the closest person to me. Okay, so there's two storylines here. First of all, if you're already dating this person, there's not been any separation or anything like this. I feel this person has plans to take things to the next level. If you are in separation from this person, I feel this person is planning on returning and they're gonna take things to the next level with you. They want to offer you something here. This person has been working hard on themselves and they wanna show that off. I do feel like this person is open to the possibility that you'll accept them back without a lot of really, without a lot of effort is kind of what's coming through, okay? What else here? This is so funny. We have please, please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. So for some of you here, if you have blocked this person, they are trying to call you or contact you. I feel like this person knows that they are moving slowly. I'm planning a romantic date or can we Netflix and chill like old times? I want to cook for you. No strings. Yeah. So for, for some of you, this person could just be um, really across the board though for everyone, no matter what your scenario is. I don't think this person just wants to hook up with you. I feel a lot of feelings coming through, but this person is planning on offering you something, sending you a message, inviting you. There's sweetness here, but they are reminiscing a lot about the way that things used to be here. And they're hoping that you guys can replenish that. I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it's so beautiful in the 5D. Yeah, I, this person's obsessed with you. You could be dreaming a lot about this person here too. Both of you could be like actually communicating in your dream state. And it's just like very overwhelming from both perspectives to have that kind of dreaming energy. Oh, interesting. <laughs> mm. Tried to replace you, but it didn't work out because I'm madly in love with you and I was fighting it. I know that this is divine. Yeah, remember that kind of constellation energy. The thing is here, this person they feel like you and them are meant to be together. And I think that that was something they weren't really ready to admit to themselves, but they're at the point now where they can't deny it. It's just like so obvious that that's the case. They're feeling very much like ready to step forward. We have lost, someone here could have lost a pet recently. I'm really sorry if that's the case. Bereavement, sorrow, and damage. Yeah, this person, if there has been a separation here, they see this as a big loss and they're already planning on coming back in. I feel though that this person likes to use their charm. So they could be feeling like they can charm you or win you over without much like effort, if that makes sense. Um, like they just feel like they're very charming and that you just love them and so you're just gonna accept them. We also have aid. Mercy, charity, and kindness. Yeah, this person is really hoping that you'll show them that compassion. 
But what are they thinking and feeling? They want a fresh start here. But this person feels like they have to rely on you to give them that. We have calm, inner peace, simplicity, and meditation. It's funny here too, because I feel like you guys really do pick up a lot on this person's energy. Like you are really in tune with them. So I would definitely suggest trusting yourself when it comes to this person, because I think you are actually picking up on quite a lot when it comes to them. We have a goal, purpose, expectation, and destination. I, I'm telling you, you guys, this group, this person is coming towards you because they, they want to come towards you. They're, they like to um, swing in. I feel like they see you in them as like a really good parent. And so they're not going to give that up. They want to rush in and surprise you. They want to rush in and kind of catch you off guard. And that's exactly what they're intending on doing. So yeah, that is what I have. I'm sending you a big hug. Lots of love to you. It's such a pleasure um, to connect and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.